Woodshed House Smart. Today I want to talk about gutters and, and drainage around the exterior of a home. And uh, we've got some great examples here to work with today. Number one, understand that uh, gutters and downspouts, the purpose of those things are to collect the water coming off the roof and then direct, direct it away from the home. So, so we don't have water piling up against our foundations or against the walls of the house. So we have some good examples for you today. We're at this home here, and uh, as you can see above me, this particular section of the roof doesn't have any gutters or downspouts on it. As a result, what has happened is when water comes off of that roof, we just had a lot of rain, by the way, and you can kind of see this. When water comes off the roof, it's actually created kind of a, a divot, a trench in the ground here. And so that water is not getting away from our foundation. In addition to that, something that, that also is contributing to poor drainage is the fact that the ground out here is higher than the ground here. And so, of course, that's going to direct any water that does come off of our roof back towards our foundation, where it can seep in and lead to other types of problems, which we'll get into at another time. But what we need to do here is we need to install proper guttering with downspouts that's going to direct that water away from this wall. Another good idea might be to maybe think of um, doing a little bit of re here to try to create a, uh, a draw, if you will, that's going to direct that water out away from the house and, and keep it away from the house. By comparison, let's look at this section of the roof over here. Over here you see we do have gutters and downspouts. Also, you can't see it from that angle, but this concrete pad here is installed in such a manner that it's tilting out this way, bringing that water away from the wall of the house there. That's, that's ideal. That's what we want to do here. You can see the downspout is pointing that way. So again, that's, that's directing water away from, away from the wall of the house. That's, that's ideal. That's what we're hoping to achieve here. You can also see, if you look up at the gutter here, you can see that this particular gutter needs to be cleaned. I want to point out a couple things to you. You can see on this side, we don't have any gutters or downspouts. Because we've got such good drainage here, you see how steep this is, this slope is, we actually don't need the gutters and downspouts here because any water that comes off the roof is going to naturally drain away from the house wall here. So, so this is a situation where we wouldn't need gutters or downspouts. Otherwise, like previously we talked about, um, if we get the ground that's, that's level or even sloping back towards the house, that could lead to some problems for us as far as water infiltration into in through the foundation into the crawl space or basement area of the house. Okay, by comparison, you can see this section of the roof does in fact have guttering and it's got a downspout. What you may not be able to see from that point of view is that also the concrete walkway here is installed in such a manner that it's sloping away from the house, directing water away from that wall. That's good. That's what we want to see. Um, you'll also notice in this particular case that uh, the gutters are full of pine needles. We're in a bunch of pine trees here. And this is a part of routine maintenance. You want to do this in the spring and in the fall, clean them gutters out, make sure that they're going to work properly for you when, when you need them to. Um, so that's, that's something that we can address when, when we start talking maintenance. Otherwise, this is what we want to see. We've got a gutter installed, downspout, the downspout's directing water away from the wall, the area immediately next to or below the gutter, is also directing water away from the wall. That's, that's what we want to see right there.